too was maybe it was some pato I don't know how well he took care of himself if he had longer fingernails if it was him scratching at the floor just because of whatever mm -hmm. issues he had going on and was dreaming or drinking or something you know I, I'm not really sure mm -hmm. yeah I was escape. actually <laughs> yeah I was more intrigued by I remember being interested in the very beginning about like Zampano's apartment and like I remember it being very dark and mm -hmm. just like very messy and like I I don't know I found that really interesting like I would have I almost would have liked to have either Zampano be still alive and it being like Johnny and him kind of talking about things and figuring yeah. things out together rather than Johnny and Whatever. Yeah, it's like part of the story Bumper. was supposed to be, yeah, like this mystery of Zampano too. And it was mm -hmm. like, like, yeah, he was blind, but his windows were all covered and then the scratch marks. And then it was like, he'd walk mm -hmm. outside and there'd be like a million cats. But then when he died, they were all gone. And yeah, I thought there was right, going to yeah. be some like connection with that. And there yeah, wasn't. Yeah. And it was like, what is that all about? Right. You know, I was waiting for, yeah. And especially because Navidson's cat disappeared into that corridor and they never found oh, that's it. That's right. Yeah. So, you know, so, okay, mm -hmm. where did, where did those first cats tie in with that one or don't mm -hmm. they, or is it just a mess with our heads? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. It, maybe we're too intellectual for this book. And we're like, <laughs> not, like maybe other people were more creeped out because they were just like, Oh, look, it's a, same thing right no it doesn't Who make knows? any sense i, mean, I, don't, know, no, yeah. I don't know i don't know i mean there are there really something maybe we're, we're done no, we're missing something. no i don't know <laughs> I definitely think it's supposed to be like a, like a community effort because there are forums you can go on to and discuss with other people too so it's like mm. but again it's like i would feel like well what's the point like yeah i didn't oh, feel yeah. compelled to do that like if, yeah, you know? yeah before the book we read the book i i sort of knew they were out there and i was like yeah maybe i'll go look but i don't want to look mm -hmm. before i read the book because i yeah. don't want it to taint my thoughts about it yeah, yeah. right i wasn't compelled to <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think it's one of those things that, like, I think, I think we weren't, like, us, we weren't drawn in enough to, like, care to go out and look for other stuff. I know there's been other books where that's been the case, like S, for example. I know we've referenced that a lot, but it feels like Very these similar, two books so. <laughs> are in the same, yeah, in the same, like, general area of what they're trying to achieve. Yes. Except and S did it a, very well. <laughs> was a, yeah, a much better example where you actually wanted to go out and find mm -hmm. what does this mean? Like, mm -hmm. this doesn't feel like it has anywhere in the real world to go. No. I still have the S on my car, by the way. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's got to be some kind of connection between Johnny and Zampano and, like, the house. But I, I never made that connection. I really don't know. No. Mm-hmm. I liked your idea though that they're mm -hmm. like me too. Like that's how the monster is, is that they are the monster. I think that's really yeah. cool. Me too. Thanks. Yeah. So did you guys have like a favorite character or like who was your maybe uh, most interesting character? And who was your least favorite and why? <laughs> mm. Um Thumper was my least favorite. <laughs> That's fair. So Thumper was um, Truant's like girlfriend, fantasy, fantasy, girlfriend. yeah, he was fantasy a girlfriend who was yeah. She was a yes. stripper, right? Too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. the house was my most favorite character. <laughs> Clever. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I like that answer. I actually really liked Rustin. Hmm. What did you like about him? Um, that like even though he was like in a wheelchair and stuff, he's like, I'm still going down there with you. Like, mm -hmm. you, you can't stop me. Like, you know, he wasn't afraid to just 
to do it, even though he was, it was going to be hard for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't want um, Navi to go down there by himself. So, like, I thought that was, he was probably my favorite because he showed, like, the most character other than maybe, like, Tom. Yeah. Yeah, I feel the same way. I think one of the, yeah, one of my least favorite was either, yeah, Johnny or Lude or even was Holloway yeah. the one that ended up shooting them yeah. down there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like yeah. kind of, he was sort of an ass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I kind of agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I, I actually did like Tom the most, I think. He was definitely not a perfect guy, but he just was very, like, I don't know. Very just, chill. Just very, very chill much and like yeah. a sibling. <laughs> yeah, and I liked I liked that they were sort of able to like reconcile and like work together mm -hmm. on the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of, like yeah, that, that was cool. That was sort of like a nice personal interest. But, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yep. And the way that the kids liked him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like. Aw. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I guess we kind of talked about this, but we can go into it definitely a lot more. Um. What do you think the story as a whole? is trying to make us think about, or I guess maybe another way to phrase it is, what do you think the plot of the book is? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly uh, I honestly think that it had a lot to do with just Johnny's mental uh, state of mind more than anything. The, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I think that that's what the book was actually about. And I wonder if Zampana was actually really a person <laughs> interesting Ooh, that is interesting mm -hmm. sometimes I th when I'm thinking about the book I'm like okay like what I don't know it's like right is there a lesson that can be drawn or something and it's mm -hmm. like well maybe so it seemed like the house sort of changed a little bit based on like your feelings or expectations it was like mm -hmm. Like, if you're feeling emptiness, then it was, like, it just kept going on and on forever. <laughs> but, like, I'm trying to think, um, oh, I can't remember who was it. Was it Tom that ended up going back in later? And he was expecting a huge staircase, but it was, yes. like, short. Yes, yep. And it was, like, oh, I'm already yeah. at the bottom. How and did this happen? So that it's must have been where, yeah, we were talking about how, like, like, I was talking about how far I was in the book in our Discord channel, and... I was like, oh, well, you know, I, I made this many pages because, like, some of the pages had, like, one word on the page. So I, like, read 50 <laughs> pages in no time or whatever. And then, yeah, Angie, you were like, well, maybe the length of the book just depends on your um, perspective. Or <laughs> I don't remember how you phrased it, but yeah. So it's like maybe the house is supposed to be a metaphor for life. And that's okay. So hold that thought because there was actually, I just read that because it was in the back of the book. But um, oh. let me just see here. Um, I'm hoping I can find it quick here. <laughs> it's like, but... I feel like it's sort of like that conclusion can be made if you're looking for one. Like, I feel like the book itself mm -hmm. didn't, didn't present itself in a way that you would come to that conclusion but mm -hmm. sort of this extra analyzing it because we're talking about it it's sort right, of like okay right. like um, maybe like um i think yeah. it really could be like just the state of your mind like that is basically what the house is could you know, be, and like, it's so even. interesting that you you guys have brought that up because like today i was kind of like in a like i'm gonna read this book and I'm gonna finish it and like I don't know I was just kind of in a more like inspired mode and and like as I was reading it was like yeah I'm like I understand where they're coming from and no oh, that's a really cool like <laughs> little part they did there and like but yeah like on the days where I just I wasn't feeling as inspired it was like I don't care like <laughs> You know, yeah, there's so, so many so interesting. Uh, yeah, it's, this is dragging on forever. Right. Yeah. So it's that is a really interesting thought. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it is on this page, but it, it must be on page 387 because I wrote a note. Um, it says life is impossible, and I'm trying to think where. 
where exactly what the quote is because I usually put it right there. Um, oh, it's towards the bottom. Oh, yes, life is impossible, and therein lies the lesson of the house. Spoken in syllables of absolute silence, resounding within him like a faint and uncertain echo. So I had written out that question, and then I came across that quote, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. But... And I kind of thought the book was more about relationships. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't told in a very good way about relationships, but it was about relationships like with Tom and Navy and Karen and Navy and just everyone, the different relationships that they have with each other. And I think the house kind of reflected that back at them. That is really interesting. I like that thought. Yeah, I guess I don't really, I, I could think about this for a while, I guess, but, um, yeah. and not come to any concrete conclusion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it was and sort think, of cool. Oh, sorry, mom. I was gonna say, I didn't read all of um, Truans and Zampata's stuff. So I really can't comment on most of what that's half fair. of what that's on. But yeah, and I can't either. I read. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. the house though was interesting. Where Yeah, it just seemed like, like the first big exploration when they went down there with Holloway and Wax and Jed. Mm -hmm. And it was like, they were down there like, looking for a big exploration so oh, right. okay it took like however many days to get just down the staircase and it was mm -hmm. like right this big like you know i don't know like expedition right as mm -hmm. like sort of what their careers were built about so mm -hmm. um that and was then interesting tom, and then like, tom goes down and he's like oh i'm at the bottom of the staircase like, <laughs> yeah. and then even at the end where it was like you know navy left Karen to go back down to the house and then he goes in and he's sort of on I don't know a journey with him in himself mm -hmm. and you know yeah. he's riding hundreds and hundreds of miles on his bike inside mm -hmm. the house mm -hmm. and like sort of spiraling down and maybe he's right is it like he knows like he doesn't know how to cope with maybe what is the end of him and Karen and like why the house feels compelling to him and mm -hmm. then like he literally gets to the to the edge to the like brink of nothing, nothing. and yeah. then it's like the other side is she goes back to the house and then it's like what they're like a, i can't remember what it was the door open and she like pulls him out and it's like literally right. he was on the brink of nothingness and now mm -hmm. they're in the backyard mm -hmm. yeah and the house and dissolves like, right like it doesn't exist at the end Oh God! Did oh. that happen? I can't remember. The that house. So the house still ex exists in the world of Karen and Navidson, but while Johnny is searching for the house, he never finds it. Mm. So it's a question of whether it was there or not. But okay, I feel like it was weird too because like Johnny was in California, and I feel like he never really left California. I, I th that's the thing too is it's like <laughs> did he actually like he supposedly you know like traveled all over and blah 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 but like I'm I honestly wonder if it's just a, a journey within ourselves like that's hmm. basically what it is 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 figuring out because a lot of like a lot of them like things like in there like really reflect on like depression and mm -hmm. yes oh, mental yeah. disorders in general mm -hmm. like so I'm kind of wondering Loneliness. if that's just not what it is yeah like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The journey within yourself, and that's what the house is. I get this impression, too, that it's about, like, since it feels like there's no, like, conclusion to mm -hmm. what any of it comes to, I guess, or what the house is or what it means, is, like, it's about, like, our uncomfortableness or our dislike of not having answers and how that kind of creates its own like frustrating maze of <laughs> like I don't know yeah of thinking and 
yeah it is it's very it's interesting like yeah it's in the house itself it's like in the 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 Navidson report they did scrapings and they were tested and they were like couldn't even be dated they were like so old right and they were like millions and millions and billions of years old or whatever like so that can kind of go into our next question um what do you think the house is sounds like yeah so kind of tie into that like if the house was real Mm -hmm. i mean well it definitely has Doctor Who, I mean, TARDIS kind of capabilities since it since it's bigger on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was interesting that before there was even the house, mm-hmm. that whatever soldiers or whatever that they had found a stairway going down. Yeah, right. like that was interesting. And that was on the land there, but there wasn't the house, but there was mm-hmm. a stairway going down, and. So it's like, gee, is that just like a small place that's out of time and like a different parallel universe kind of thing? A pocket universe. Very fringy. Yeah. 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 And maybe it only comes around when the Earth passes a certain place in its orbit. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Yeah, Yeah, it definitely. Yeah, that's interesting. I do too. Yeah, it definitely has... um, like Doctor Who or Twilight Zone feels like yeah. especially in the beginning when like uh, I think it was Karen was like she had her hand on the wall or whatever and like it went through or something and I was like oh that's just like that Twilight Zone episode <laughs> and then I kept reading and like maybe a couple pages later it talks about like how it wasn't like the Twilight Zone and like yeah. I was like oh. <laughs> so he was just like toying with us again like was maybe that was when the bookcases were tight, and then all of a sudden, yeah, it was something they about... widened out or something. Or yeah, about... it was oh, yeah, around the book that fell time. off, and it yes. was like, what? Yep. I was like, yes. yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I was waiting for something like, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then it was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Very anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, like the inside of the house like they even go through like there's like on like multiple pages they have that one square box where it's like there's no and then it just lists off a bunch of things that there isn't like plumbing lights windows sockets (laughs) things like that and i'm like like like, i get that you're trying to explain that there's nothing nothing there but at the same time like i mean we i mean if you just say it's a bare wall like it's a bare wall there's nothing there but like like it's like on three, four different pages, like yeah. front and back, like ever, ever. <laughs> but yeah, like the samples uh, from the walls were from like a few thousand years to billions of years, and like, oh, it must have. There must be like you know from like a meteorite or whatever. But right. it's like, so like, what is it? Is it like some kind of purgatory? Like one of Navidson's dreams kind of portrayed it like it could be, or like a pocket dimension, like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I kind of liked the idea of it being purgatory, but the more I'm thinking about it, I think it's just, yeah. They're just like, there's like something there that's like, maybe it's just a hallucinogen. Who knows? Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> natural gas is coming up from the earth there, and it makes everyone <laughs> think that there's stuff there. <laughs> Black mold in the, in the ducks. Black mold. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and if you think of the house as representing depression and mental illness that does Mm -hmm. you know that really kind of draws a parallel to that too yeah I think that would Mm -hmm. actually be a like it would actually might help me like I know it's usually the other way around where you want to read the book and then draw conclusions but like in this case I feel like it would actually like if if I had gone in thinking like oh this book you know is supposed to be about like you know, or, like, it's supposed to kind of give you the feelings of, like, what it feels like to to have schizophrenia or to have depression. Like, I feel right. like it would have helped me get more out of the book. Yeah. Um, See, because, and I think, yeah, you think I drew that conclusion because, like, one of the first, like, parts of the book, they were talking about something in it, and I'm like, oh, well, that's 
how I feel. Like that's kind of how depression feels. And I'm like, okay. And so I kind of went into the book already kind of getting those vibes. Mm -hmm. So that might be why I'm drawing those kind of conclusions. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It's, I think I, yeah. um, It would just be interesting to go through, like, I don't think I I will, but like, it would be interesting (laughs) in another dimension to go through the book again with a different lens to, you know, through which to read. (laughs) Right. Yeah. So um, how does the form, I guess we kind of talked about this, but if there's anything you guys want to add, it, it how does the form in, of the novel affect and reflect the emotional and narrative content of the book? I was excited when there was less words on a page. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I was like, oh, oh. I honestly you know, really right. liked, I honestly, I know mom said that she didn't really like the flipping of the pages and stuff like that, but I really liked it, especially when it got to the point where people were kind of going crazy. <laughs> so like, to me, it like made a lot of sense that like, it kind of reflected how the people in the book were Mm -hmm. and it kind of just it made the fact that they did like the rotating stuff like you could tell that everyone's mind state or whoever was writing it like in this part of the book people were they're having mind issues Mm -hmm. (laughs) emotional issues something digitally where if I'd have tried to turn the pages oh like, yeah like, like, kept slipping. <laughs> you know I honestly oh wonder how gosh. it would have even worked for like a digital copy if it would have even been on a weird section or if it would have just been you normal know, I have no idea that's a good point but I could definitely see the author having it just flip around as you're turning because mm-hmm. he's just an asshole like that. yes <laughs> You can never read this page. You can never read this page. Unless you can read upside down. (laughs) I knew at one point there was stuff that was like backwards. So instead of like flipping it over or whatever, it's like, I just read it backwards. Yeah, Yeah, I did too. I'm not turning the page. It's only like 10 words. I can do this. (laughs) That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Did you guys want to take a break? Yes. All right. I will stop this recording and we'll take a little break. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for our discussion on the House of Leaves. Be sure to stay tuned for more in the coming weeks. Also, remember to come on over to Twitter or Instagram and say hi to us. There you can enjoy some intermittent content, including what we're up to, how our our reading is coming along, and general reading inspiration. Let us know in the comments if you've ever read House of Leaves and what you thought about it. Whether or not you've read House of Leaves, let us know what you're reading right now and how you're liking it. That's all for now. Take good care of yourself and happy reading.